welcome to episode 13 of my FIFA 21 Tottenham Hotspur career mode. And welcome guys to the next episode. Today sees us start off in the FA Cup against Brentford, round five, Molten Road. Uh, hopefully we should be able to get past this one, but you never know how these FA Cup games go and we'll be playing with a weaker not a weaker team but you know what I mean a second team and giving some guys some playing time that don't normally get it especially our new uh, transfers we brought in from North America that the board wanted us to do even though I'm not getting credit for it uh, it's still showing uh, that I hadn't signed anybody so so here we go 40 minutes in, Gareth Bell goes for the shot and a great block from the defender there. Keeps it one, well, keeps it nil-nil. And this one ends nil-nil. So we go to penalties and now I'm a little worried because I'm not the greatest blocker of penalties. Uh, Deli Alley goes up, get, oh, hits the bar, misses his. Brentford missed that one. Hyunmin Sun. That one's blocked, so we have no goals yet. And now it's 2-0 Brentford. Vinicius shoots, he gets his 2-1. Ah, that one goes in 3-1. If Bergwine does not make this one. Oh, we make it 3-2. Here we go. If he makes this one. We're eliminated from the FA Cup already by Brentford. He shoots and he makes it. And that is that for us in the FA Cup. As we go down in round five. Terrible match. No goals scored. A uh, few guys played well. But in the end, we could not get... I mean, we kept a clean sheet up until penalties. So defensively, we did good. But offensively, we could not muster anything. So here's the rest of the round five matches. Liverpool, Norwich, Man United, all advance. Brentford Edge Spurs and shootout drama. Be a painful memory for Vanderbilt's team who need now to regain their confidence. And Hugo Loris is happy with Spurs at the time because he's getting a lot of playing time and of course he is our best keeper by far uh, one of the best in the world Brentford were eventually victorious over Spurs uh, Sissoko wants to play in the next one and we'll probably get him some uh, playing time there and Captain Roll of course it's because we didn't have the first team selected uh, FIFA style it amazes me how they still have the same old glitches year after year so next up we're at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium with the 4-2-3-1 back to our normal uh, steady lineup that we go with as we take on Manchester City should be a tough one they go with the 4-3-3 uh, their team is pretty stacked as always but historically we've had pretty good success against Manchester City for some reason and let's hope that continues here today so Sun gets out to Reguillon oh beautiful beautiful ball to Lucas and Mora makes it 1-0 four minutes in look at this ball just perfectly on target and Mora's there to guide it in so 37 minutes in De Bruyne oh Lloris gets the the save on that one thought for sure De Bruyne had the finesse shot in he takes oh he gets in the box again and another save for Larice against De Bruyne and in 63 minutes in Lo Celso has a beautiful one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one chance and bang there we go 2-0 63 minutes in looks like we have this one wrapped up hopefully our defenders can hold tight and in 74 minutes in, Sissoko shoots and great save from Ederson to keep that one out and stays 2-0. And then 82 minutes in, 
Aguero shoots off the rebound, off the deflection, and gets that one in, makes it 2-1. We had the tackle, but it kind of goes to him. I don't know if that was a pass or a tackle. And he smashes that one in. But that's how this one ends, 2-1. We take the three points for Manchester City. And here's your player ratings. Lo Celso, nice game. Javier, nice game as well. Lo Celso strike helped his team grab a 2-1 win against Manchester City. Spurs repeat triumph over Man City. And Sissoko impresses again. Uh, seems like every time we, we give him playing time, he comes up big for us. And Winks is delighted with Spurs' chances. He's played quietly uh, well for us in midfield this season. And Hayden is your February player of the month. We haven't had one of those yet. Hopefully we can get one now. Uh, so let's see. We still have some objectives to do uh, we're out of the FA Cup but and we're not getting credit for our signing so hopefully that doesn't come back and cause problems for us uh, when we did a we achieved an object objective but it didn't give us credit for us so we move on to game three in this episode as we take on Southampton gonna be a tough one here today I'd imagine they are always a tough team, it seems. With 4-4-2. Ward Prowse, Shea Adams, Danny Ings, all ready to go. And here's Tottenham's 4-2-3-1. Aurier, Region as your fullbacks. And Kane up top, continuing his wonderful season he's had so far. So four minutes, we're on the attack. Oh! <laughs> Good attempt from Sun, but Forster was ready for it. Lo Celso, great pass to Kane, shoots on the left foot and goal. There we go, one nail, 12 minutes in. Tottenham take the lead. Great pass from Lo Celso, set that one up. Uh, he's approaching the rec Premier League record for assist. Won't be, not many more. Lo Celso in close shoots, and that one saved by Forster to keep it one nail. And 24 minutes in, beautiful ball to Aurier. Chips it up to Kane, the header, and that one finds its way in the back of the net off of a off of the defender I believe yeah it looked like it bounced off his shoulder and that's what caused it to just barely go in and 59 minutes in Sun on the attack beautiful pass and he smashes that one in Lo Celso had that one no doubt Forster had no chance let's take another look at that one beautiful little chip smashes it with the left foot and that one goes in and then 70 minutes in, Sun gets a one-on-one. -on -one. Finesse shots that one into the corner of the net. Beautiful. Makes it 4-0. Huge win here today. Taps it in. Beautiful. And that's how that one would end. 4-0 Spurs. Three points and a clean sheet on the day. 13 shots, 11 of them on target. Hyunmin Sun, 9.7 rating. Your player of the match. Kane 9.6 and Lucelso 9.1. Sun Strike uh, helped uh, seal the Southampton defeat and Spurs repeat the triumph over Southampton. So we get the double on them. And then game four of the episode sees us return to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to take on Fulham. And here is your top scoring teams, Tottenham are one ahead. And here's your 4 2 3 1. Later on in the season, we're going to give some youngsters some playing time. Maybe one, one youngster a game will get either on the bench or get a start, depending on how the season's going. So, eight minutes in, Fulham take a shot, and that one stays out. Save Larice. 21 minutes in, another shot from Fulham. Larice is up. For the challenge for that one. And then Lo Celso gets another one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Shoots! And Ariola. Ariola gets this one in. Keeps that one out, I should say. And then Sun cross comes in, smashes that one home by Lo Celso. Another great ball in. 
is perfectly on target, gets the right leg up, and taps that one in. Then Lo Celso finds Harry Kane 80 minutes in, a one-on-one -on -one chance. You know that one's going in. Makes it 2-0 Tottenham. Beautiful goal. That should put him uh, around 25 goals on the season, I believe. 23. 23 goals in the Premier League. And that's how this one ends. 2-0. Spurs another clean sheet and another three points to move up the table. Kane with the 8.5 rating. Lo Celso 9.4. Great game from here. From him today. Around the grounds, Chelsea beat Aston Villa. And Lo Celso scores in Spurs 2-0 win over Fulham. And Spurs snatch a win against Fulham. And Spurs triumph over Fulham. Uh, they hope the win will be a springboard. And Leicester City's Barnes is set for four weeks out. Big loss for them. And Liverpool and Arsenal get ready to take themselves on. And the last match of this episode sees us go to Villa Park. A return to our old career mode as we take on Aston Villa. Jack Grealish, 30 appearances, 5 goals on the season. And let's see if we can take them down. They go to 4-3-3. Ross Barkley's added. Bertrand Traore. And we go with the 4-2-3-1. We go with a backup team. As Aston Villa are uh, low in the standings. Oh, Deli Alley. 14 minutes in. Takes that shot. And it's missed. 19 minutes in. Kind of hurry hand. Smashes that one past Gazaniga. Didn't even move. Which uh, is kind of a reoccurring theme with him. He kind of just watches goals go in for some reason. And it makes it 1-0 Aston Villa. Great strike near post. 38 minutes in, Deli Alley. Beautiful ball to Vinicius. Bang, smashes that one into the corner. And there's your equalizer. 1-1, Aston Villa and Tottenham. 58 minutes in, we get the shot from Lamella just off target. That would have been a huge goal for us. 60 minutes in, Grealish takes a ill-advised shot, hits the side of the net. And the corner comes in from Grealish. Oh, <laughs> and Keenan Davis makes it 2-1. We just brought in Timothy Way in for Vinicius, and it bounces off of him, and they smash it in. Ross Barkley smashes that one in. Once again, Gazaniga was just looking at it go in, and that makes it 3-1 Aston Villa here so, so late in the match. And that's how this one ends. 3-1. We drop points here today. Hopefully that does not come back to haunt us in the standings. And there's your player ratings. Everybody pretty much played terrible. Harry Winks and Adams in the middle had a decent game. And Ross Barkley and Horian with the best ratings for Aston Villa. Barkley grabs winner against Spurs, and Spurs lost to Aston Villa, a big disappointment. That is definitely true. And our U Squad monthly report. So our guys' potentials are looking really good. Now it's going to be to promote some of them and get them... Uh, Train, get them trained up get those overalls going and we'll cut some of the dead weight whose uh, potentials aren't high enough uh, to really keep around you gotta remember Tottenham is already a super deep team for its depth in my opinion and next up is Leicester City Burnley and Newcastle and that's gonna be it for this episode thanks so much for you guys watching comment and liking Please like that button. Uh, tap that like button again. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment below with your suggestions. And until next episode, you guys take care.